Distemper is one of the deadliest diseases dogs can suffer from. It is estimated that 80% of puppies who contract it die, and in adult dogs, this figure is around 50%. As we can see, it is a dangerous disease that can cause serious harm to our pets. Fortunately, there is a vaccine to prevent it. Today, we will go over seven symptoms that a dog with distemper may experience. If you've had this sad experience, share your opinion in the comments after watching this video. Now, let's begin. Number 1. Nasal and Ocular Discharge In the early stages of distemper, one of the most visible signs is nasal and ocular discharge. The eyes may begin to tear excessively, with a watery secretion at first that may later become thicker and purulent, indicating a secondary infection. Similarly, the dog's nose may have similar discharges, with mucus that makes breathing difficult. These discharges can block nasal passages, causing noisy or labored breathing. Additionally, the dog might constantly try to clean its eyes and nose with its paws due to discomfort. In more advanced cases, these discharges can form crusts around the eyes and nose, making breathing even harder and causing irritation. At this point, the eye discharge may make the eyes appear bloodshot, and the dog may develop conjunctivitis. This eye irritation is painful and can cause the dog to squint. If left untreated, this fluid buildup can lead to more severe problems, such as eye infections that compromise vision. Persistent discharge is an alarming sign and requires urgent veterinary evaluation. Number 2. Coughing and Difficulty Breathing Distemper attacks a dog's respiratory system, leading to a dry or wet cough. Initially, this cough may seem mild, similar to one caused by throat irritation, but as the virus progresses, the cough becomes more persistent and deep, suggesting that the lungs are affected. The cough may be accompanied by wheezing or a raspy sound when breathing, indicating that the airways are inflamed. As distemper advances, the dog's breathing becomes more labored and rapid, especially after any physical activity. This is due to inadequate oxygenation in the body, which can lead to weakness and extreme fatigue. If the respiratory system is severely compromised, the dog may start breathing with its mouth open, and its gums may turn bluish, a symptom of cyanosis from a lack of oxygen. The buildup of thick secretions can also cause the dog to try to expel the mucus more frequently, further aggravating the cough and discomfort. Number 3. High Fever One of the first signs that a dog is fighting a serious infection like distemper is fever. In the early stages, the fever can be intermittent, rising and falling unexpectedly. This fever is usually accompanied by a noticeable loss of energy, with the dog appearing lethargic and less interested in daily activities. The dog's temperature can exceed 39.5 degrees Celsius 103 degrees Fahrenheit, indicating that the immune system is trying to fight the viral infection. Owners may notice their dog seeking cool places to rest, or that its nose and paws are warmer than usual. If the fever persists, it can cause significant dehydration, especially if accompanied by vomiting and diarrhea, increasing the risk of complications. In advanced cases, the fever may become constant, progressively weakening the dog and overwhelming its defenses. This prolonged fever state can also affect the dog's appetite and lead to extreme weakness. Number 4. Vomiting and Diarrhea Distemper also affects a dog's digestive system, causing frequent vomiting, which may be accompanied by diarrhea. In the early stages, the dog may begin to show a slight loss of appetite, which progresses to sporadic vomiting. This vomit often contains undigested food or a foamy, yellowish liquid. Over time, the vomiting may increase in frequency and severity, leading to rapid weight loss and general weakening of the animal. Diarrhea is typically watery and foul-smelling, indicating that the digestive system is struggling to process food properly. The combination of vomiting and diarrhea can lead to severe dehydration, further complicating the dog's condition. Signs of dehydration include dry gums, less elastic skin, and a decrease in urine production. The lack of essential nutrients due to diarrhea and vomiting weakens the dog's immune system, leaving it more vulnerable to other infections. This digestive system deterioration can also cause the dog to refuse to eat or drink, worsening the situation. 
Number 5. Lethargy and Fatigue Dogs with distemper often show an abnormal level of tiredness. Unlike a regular day when a dog might be active and playful, a dog with distemper will tend to seek constant rest, even after light activities. It may spend long hours lying down, showing little interest in its surroundings or interacting with its owner. This fatigue is due to the internal fight against the viral infection and the immune system's effort to combat it. Prolonged fatigue is often accompanied by a loss of appetite and general disinterest in food and water. The lack of energy can be so pronounced that the dog avoids its favorite activities, such as playing or going for walks, which can be concerning for the owner. Additionally, the fatigue can be exacerbated by other symptoms, such as fever, further weakening the animal. Number 6. Seizures and Involuntary Movements When the distemper virus affects the nervous system, one of the most alarming signs is the onset of seizures. These seizures may occur as sporadic episodes where the dog loses control of its movements and shows violent shaking throughout its body. The dog may collapse, and during the seizures, lose control of its bowels or drool excessively. These episodes can last from a few seconds to several minutes and are often followed by a period of confusion or disorientation. In addition to seizures, dogs with advanced distemper may show involuntary movements, such as tics or muscle tremors, especially in the head and limbs. These movements may be constant or appear intermittently, indicating that the nervous system is severely compromised. Sometimes, the dog may seem to be chewing gum, a characteristic movement caused by spasms in the facial muscles. These neurological symptoms signal that the disease has progressed to a critical stage and require urgent veterinary attention, as they can be irreversible. Number 7. Thickening of the Paw Pads In some cases, distemper can cause a symptom known as hard pads, where the dog's paw pads thicken and harden. This thickening is due to the virus's effect on the skin and connective tissue, leading to abnormal keratin buildup. The paw pads become stiff, rough to the touch, and in some cases, may crack, causing pain when walking. While this symptom is less common, it is characteristic of advanced cases of distemper and can indicate that the virus has affected other body systems. In addition to the paws, the virus can affect other keratin-containing areas, such as the nose, which may also become thicker and rougher. The thickening of the paw pads can cause the dog to avoid walking or limp, as each step is painful. This symptom typically appears in the later stages of the disease, and although not fatal on its own, it indicates that the virus has progressed significantly. What do you think? Here's a video that YouTube suggests is perfect for you. Well, that's all for now. Until next time.